Today I'm gonna show you three ways to create polyphonic voices in Cubase. You see here I have an audio track and the audio track has um, a guitar. I play the, I think it's a C. This is me, I'm not a great singer. I try to sing the C as well. And here is um, an Italian woman speaking in a pretty large hall. Qual è stato il ruolo, la presenza del viaggio nell'opera e nella vita di Carlo Gagliani? I got this voice from freesound.org and uh, it was uploaded by Bella Regis and it is uh, licensed under the attribution, that means Bella Regis, I mention her, her here now in, in the description and it's a non-commercial 4.0 license since I don't earn anything with this tutorial. This is just fine and it's mono. This is important because um, uh, the first attempt I'm gonna try does not work with stereo sounds. So um, this is pretty new in Cubase and uh, we can go to I select this audio for example, the guitar, and I go to audio and generate harmony voices. So let's meditate on this command. It's on the audio and it's called generate harmony voices. By the way, you can change uh, language of the user interface of uh, uh, Cubase in, into many languages. And this is English, of course. Generate harmony voices. I get a very small and lean dialogue, number of voices, four is the maximum, and I can create maybe just two. Reduce vibrato strength, doesn't matter really, and now I press OK and you see something happening here in the sequencing window. We have more um, tracks now. This is the soprano and this is the alto. Let's listen to this first one, this is the original. This is the soprano and this is the alto. Interesting, I think, and uh, all together we have a polyphonic sound. Not exactly very sexy, but polyphonic. I undo this by pressing Ctrl Z and uh, we do the same with this sound here, with me singing the C. And uh, it's under general harmonic voices. And let me introduce three. Okay, I undo this as well and then I'll pick the speaker. And do the same thing, audio and generate harmonic voices. Let's say three or four, let's say four, which is the maximum. Qual è stato il ruolo, la presenza del viaggio nell'opera nella vita di Carlo Gagliani? So this is the first way to introduce more voices. Very lean and elegant and very direct. You need a mono input for this, a mono source. Second one is very popular uh, and has been very popular in the pop music since the 1970s Kraftwerk, for example. It's called a vocoder. Uh, for that reason, we um, need to activate the track, not the, uh, uh, the sound and um, not the audio, but the track, because we apply this as an insert effect to the whole track. So you find inserts here. Insert means we insert an effect. And uh, it's currently empty. All these slots are empty and we only will fill one slot with a, well, uh, with a vocoder. For example, I have the vocal synth. There are vocoders which are totally free and uh, I think I paid a little bit of money for the vocal synth um, and um, it lands here and now I can um, just run the audio flight of the angel the sound is called it's certainly polyphonic
four barbers. Nice. So this is the second way to introduce polyphony into Cubase. The typical way to use the vocoder is playing keys and singing to it. But uh, this is, uh, I'm just showing you the basic method. What I recently learned, uh, it's called Waves Harmony Stereo, or Monitor Stereo. And uh, I will use this as an insert now. It's a new plugin, new, that is uh, summer 2022. And we just can generate chords. That's all we need to do. And we have them already. Qual è stato il ruolo, la presenza del viaggio nell'opera e nella vita di Carlo Gagliani? Let me loop this part here just to get a taste of how this plugin works. Well, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.